So there's no doubt about it. Windows and Linux, well, they're two different operating systems entirely. There is definitely more support for the Windows operating system, hands down. And as of late, over the last couple of weeks, I have tried countless distros, and I landed upon one. But before I get into that, let's just go over what this particular article is about, and I will link to this article in the YouTube description down below. In all honesty, if I could get on Linux and have it work mostly across the board, you know, with some of the office business applications and video editing is important to me. Also doing this kind of stuff, you know, with OBS and having all that stuff work. And also I have a, a stream deck. So I want everything that I have here now to work on Linux. And for the most part, it doesn't work all across the board. And then when you try to make it work, you break something and nothing works. So it's it's very frustrating. And for now, I'm going to stay on Windows 11 for now. Uh, but with Steam, uh, you know, getting involved in all of this, and this particular article talks about, you know, the Steam beta update allows apparently developers to select which Steam for Linux runtime to use for native titles, making native titles for Linux easier. This is excellent. This feature will work on both desktop and Steam Deck versions of the app. So this is Arch Linux. And while it is pretty hardcore, you can install this as a base with like just a text screen, but the installer has gotten a lot easier. So you can do it. I have done it. If I've done it, you can do it. It's not that hard. You just have to kind of read a little bit about it, do some research. And the good thing about Arch Linux is the fact that there is tons of documentation on it. However, what I would recommend is you go with Cache OS. Now, the reason why I'm recommending this is, and as a matter of fact, I tried this a few weeks back, but it didn't work very well. But I tried it yesterday, and I am recording this video on October 19th, and I was blown away. It installed perfectly. I installed Steam, installed a few games. They all worked. No problems, no hiccups, nothing. Also fast. So I suspect in a few months or maybe next year, a lot of people who were on Windows are going to move to Linux. And as more and more people discover this, like myself and I'm telling you guys about it, you're probably going to be curious and you're probably going to try it and you're probably going to be very impressed. Now, like I said, until, you know, now, late October 2024, I wasn't impressed at all with Linux. It's, it's very powerful. Um, it's fast, but it just doesn't have enough support from start to finish for me personally. Now, that doesn't mean that it's not for you, and I get that some really hardcore Linux people and that's good. And there are also some hardcore Windows users, right? So whatever you like. And there's no reason why you can't have a dual boot as well. But I found that Cache OS, well, as of late, it is rock solid. And gaming on it is pretty flawless overall. So you might want to give this a try if you're kind of wondering, you know, what Linux OS to get involved in. And I think, in all honesty, and this is nothing against, you know, all the other distros and whatnot, but if Valve is putting time and money into Arch Linux, it might be a good idea to go down that road and invest your time into kind of understanding it.